Hello, everyone. I am Pastor Jennifer. I am sharing three characteristics of the greatest in the kingdom of God. The first is teachability. That is, anyone who wants to be the first in the kingdom of God should be open to and receive Jesus' teachings. Secondly, the greatest in God's kingdom seeks to serve rather than be served. Jesus said to his disciples in Mark 9.35, If anyone would be first, he must be lost of all and servant of all. It must have not been easy for his disciples to accept it, because they have seen Jesus respected, followed, received, and served by people so far. For example, John 6 to says, A large crowd was following him, because they saw the signs that he was doing on the sick. Let me take some specific examples. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. He came to Jesus by night, even risking his fame. Well aware of the position of most Pharisees, he said, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do, unless God is with him. Another good example would be a man named Zacchaeus, a chief tax collector. He was eager to see Jesus, so he climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him. But then, when Jesus knew his heart and wanted to stay at his house, he hurried and came down and received him joyfully. Martha, sister of Mary and Lazarus of Bethany, also welcomed Jesus into her house and served him so lavishly that Jesus advised her to work less and hear his word. In addition to that, Peter, James, and John, the inner circle of Jesus, saw him transfigured before them. On a high mountain, they had been led up by Jesus. Why did Jesus' disciples argue about the greatest among themselves? They must have come up with a wrong image of a leader as one served rather than serving. To them, Jesus says in today's text, If anyone would be first, he must be last of all, and servant of all. Actually, desiring to be served might lead one to infamy instead of fame. A good example is the Pharisees. Jesus said to them in Luke 11, 43, Woe to you, Pharisees, for you love the best seat in the synagogues and greetings in the marketplaces. While rebuking such ones, Jesus showed his disciples a good example of serving others. After having the Last Supper with them, the night he was arrested, he washed their feet himself. Then he said in John chapter 13, verses 13 to 15, You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, or so I am. If I then, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you also should do just as I have done to you. Indeed, if we call Jesus teacher or Lord, we should serve others 
just as he did. Beloved, the greatest in the kingdom of God chooses to serve rather than be served. This is all for today. Let me share the last part of the sermon next time. God bless you all.